Pattern 145, bulk storage. This pattern helps to complete any house for a small family, self-governing workshop and offices, and individually owned shops. More generally, it is needed to fill out every building complex. In houses and workplaces, there's always some need for bulk storage, a place for things like suitcases, old furniture, old tires, files, boxes, all things which you're not ready to throw away and not used every day. Some old buildings provide for this kind of storage automatically with their attics and cellars and sheds. But very often this kind of storage space is overlooked. We find it neglected, for example, in carefully designed buildings where the designer is watching the square footage very closely and cannot justify an extra room that is not living space. In our experience, however, bulk storage space is terribly important. And when it is not provided, it usually means that some other space becomes the receptacle for all the bulky, marginal things that people need to store. How much bulk storage should be provided? Certainly there should not be too much of it. That only leaves it to keep old things that we have long since finished with, called junk. <clears throat> But some bulk storage is essential. Any household or workshop or cluster will have old furniture to store until it can be fixed. All old tires, books, chests, tools that are not only occasionally used, and the more self-sufficient the household is, the more space is needed. In the extreme case, it is even necessary to have space for storing building materials. The amount needed is never less than 10% of the bulk area, sometimes as high as 50%, and normally 15 to 